Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can measure distances and share specific Google Earth views into Google Classroom. So let's take a look at how you can do both of those things. So first of all, we'll start with measuring and I want to measure some distances around Sunday River Ski Resort. And so we'll fly to that location. And now I can manipulate the map. And let's say that I want to measure one of the runs here at the ski hill. So I'm going to zoom out until I find the run that I want. There we go. And now click on the measuring tool. And we can now measure that distance. And you'll see every time I click, it's now telling me the distance that I've gone. I'm going to go all the way back down to the base from the top of that particular trail. And we'll see that I'm measuring in meters. If I want to change that, simply go to the upper right corner and we can change the unit of measurement. If I want to measure that in yards or in feet or perhaps even in inches. Now, if I want to copy that, just click on the copy and you can paste that information into any document that you like. Of course, if you want to start over, just hit the start new and you can start measuring in a different location. Now, if I want to have my students, let's say, measure some trails here or answer some questions related to measurements, and I want them all to start at this particular view that I'm at right now. What I'm going to do is use the share button here and now click Google Classroom. And that will allow me to choose the class that I want to share it with. And we can say, create an assignment, ask a question, make an announcement, or just create a material. In this case, I'm simply going to create a material and say, this is the view of the mountain that you need for today's assignment. Put a little description. And again, if I want to put it into a topic, I can, and post it. Now when my class looks at that, and they go to open that up, it will open for them directly into that view that I've assigned to them. So that's how you can measure distances and share specific views of Google Earth. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.